Good morning. This is Open Snow Meteorologist Alan Smith bringing you your severe weather forecast for Friday, June 13th, 2025. Our friends at the Storm Prediction Center have issued a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk for severe weather across central Montana. A level 2 out of 5 slight risk is across eastern Wyoming, western Nebraska and Kansas, and northeast Colorado, with a level 1 out of 5 marginal risk covering much of western Texas. There are three distinct severe weather threat areas today. Zone number one covers central Montana. Zone number two covers eastern Wyoming, northeast Colorado, and western Nebraska and Kansas. Zone number three covers western Texas and western Oklahoma. First, let's take a look at Montana, where an upper level jet stream will push into the area. This jet will act as a forcing mechanism for thunderstorm development and will contribute to strong deep layer wind shear that will support long-lived thunderstorms, including rotating supercells. At the surface, southeast winds will transport an abundance of low-level moisture, originating from the Gulf of Mexico, into the area with dew points rising well into the 50s and 60s, which is more than sufficient for strong to severe storms in this region. The easterly upslope winds will also act as a for forcing mechanism for thunderstorm development, as these winds encounter higher terrain over western and central Montana. Thunderstorms will initiate over the western Montana Rockies around midday on Friday and will track from west-southwest to east-northeast through the afternoon and into the evening. Discrete supercells are likely by early to mid-afternoon, eventually growing into multi-cell clusters by early evening, though semi-discrete supercells will remain possible over so southern Montana into early evening as well. The main severe weather threat will be very large hail, potentially up to golf ball to tennis ball size. Damaging straight line wind gusts of 60 to 70 miles per hour are also possible, and there is even a slight chance of a tornado across this region, as low level wind shear increases by late afternoon and early evening. Flash flooding also couldn't be ruled out, though fast storm motions will result in more of an isolated threat. Our StormNet model has areas of medium risk for large hail across Montana from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday, with the strongest storms capable of producing two-inch diameter hail, which is between golf ball and tennis ball size. Eastern Wyoming, northeast Colorado, and western portions of South Dakota, Nebraska, and Kansas will be located south of the main jet stream forcing, but sufficient wind shear will exist in this area to result in a severe weather threat especially as low-level moisture from the Gulf increases throughout the day from the southeast. Storms will initiate over the Rockies by early afternoon and will intensify as they track eastward into late afternoon and evening, with a mix of supercells and multi-cell clusters expected. quarter size or larger hail will be the primary severe weather threat across this region, along with isolated wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or higher but a low tornado threat will also emerge heading into the early evening hours as low-level moisture and low-level wind shear increase. Our StormNet model has areas of medium to high risk for large hail across this region from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. mountain time, with a peak risk between about 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. A medium risk is also projected through about midnight, further south in eastern Colorado and western Kansas, where storms could persist later into the evening. Across western Texas and western Oklahoma, we will see more of a conditional and isolated severe weather threat, as there will be a strong capping inversion to overcome, and moisture and instability levels will not be overly impressive for this region. However, a subtle short wave in the upper atmosphere will sneak into west Texas, leading to an increase in deep layer wind shear, while a low-level jet from the south-southeast will also strengthen during the evening. If any storms manage to develop during the late afternoon or early evening, when instability is maximized, they could potentially develop into supercells with quarter-size hail posing the main severe weather risk. Tornadoes are less likely in this setup due to relatively modest moisture levels and higher cloud bases expected. StormNet does have a medium risk of hail over West Texas from about 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. to account for this isolated supercell potential. On Saturday, the Storm Prediction Center has a level two out of five slight risk for severe weather across eastern portions of Montana and Wyoming and western portions of South Dakota and Nebraska. 
A strong upper level jet will remain entrenched across Montana from west to east with abundant low level moisture and east to southeast surface winds, reinforcing the severe weather threat across the northern high plains and eastern portions of the Rockies. Recent model guidance also indicates a stationary frontal boundary setting up over western South Dakota, which could also act as a focal point for thunderstorm development. Storms will develop over the Rockies initially around midday before tracking eastward, with the highest threat of severe weather from early afternoon to early evening. Supercells will be possible once again with quarter-sized hail or larger posing the primary threat, though a low risk will also exist for damaging straight-line winds and tornadoes. On Sunday, we will see a very similar threat area as a more pronounced shortwave trough tracks across Montana into the northern Dakota, into the western Dakotas, while abundant low-level moisture and east to southeast surface winds will remain in place east of the Rockies. A severe thunderstorm threat will exist once again across central and eastern Montana and northeast Wyoming, while the threat will also extend a bit further eastward into the Dakotas and Nebraska compared to prior days. Large hail and damaging straight-line winds will be possible across these areas, and some tornado risk is anticipated as well. Isolated flash flooding will also be possible. On Monday, severe weather is anticipated once again across eastern Montana and Wyoming, with the threat expanding eastward to include most of South Dakota and Nebraska, as well as Iowa and southern Minnesota. On Tuesday and Wednesday, a shortwave trough will continue to push eastward, with the severe weather risk over the northern plains and eventually expanding into the Great Lakes region. By late in the week, we could see some severe weather potential develop over the eastern U.S., though confidence is low. Thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend.